Once upon a time, there was a young warrior who sought to become fearless. He traveled far and wide, studying under various masters and learning the art of combat. Despite his skill, he felt a lingering sense of fear that held him back from achieving true mastery. One day, the young warrior heard of a renowned Zen master who lived atop a mountain. Determined to conquer his fear, he embarked on a treacherous journey to seek the master's wisdom. After days of arduous climbing, he reached the summit and found the Zen master sitting peacefully under a tree. Master, the young warrior said, I have come to learn the secret of becoming fearless. Please teach me. The Zen master smiled and gestured for the warrior to sit beside him. Fearlessness is not found through force or aggression, he said gently. It is a state of mind that arises when we let go of our attachments and illusions. Perplexed, the young warrior questioned, Master, how can I let go of fear? It is deeply rooted within me. The Zen master nodded knowingly. He reached into his bag and took out a small, delicate porcelain cup. He handed it to the warrior and asked him, Do you see this cup? Yes, master, the warrior replied. The Zen master then asked, Is this cup already broken? Confused, the warrior examined the cup and responded, No, master, it is not broken. The Zen master smiled and said, Indeed, it is not broken. But, if you hold on to it tightly, if you fear it breaking, you will never truly appreciate its beauty or understand its impermanence. The young warrior pondered the master's words, realizing their profound meaning. In that moment, he understood that fear, like the cup, was only a temporary state. By holding on to it tightly, he was denying himself the freedom and clarity that lay beyond it. With newfound insight, the warrior took a deep breath and released his grip on fear. He embraced the present moment, understanding that true fearlessness came from letting go of attachments and embracing the impermanent nature of existence. As the young warrior descended the mountain, he felt a lightness in his step. His once trembling hands were now steady, and his heart was filled with tranquility. He had discovered the key to fearlessness, not through brute force or external conquests, but through inner peace and acceptance. 